you are. <laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness, okay. If you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm gonna mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Cause Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So uh, yeah, just. Mm? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, uh, 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 everything looks good. Reggie, he's all yours. Hey. <laughs> oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And and don't worry, okay? I uh, I got your uh, your agent's threatening texts and... The kid glove stays on today. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. Because my first day here as a transfer student, football kind of just found me. Now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay then, let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, coach. A darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, we still don't have any depth behind you. If you want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, sit yourself. You got plenty of room on the bench anyways.
around the edges, I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Good, good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. You got it? Find yourself a box, keep it clean. Seats taken. Look, man, I ain't playing with you, bro. Don't sit beside me, all right? Yo, get out of here, bro. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone. Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I'd like to get my head clear before I game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just this whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. The NFL? That's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL a bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah. You'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great, and here he comes. What's up, Reggie? Tommy Matthews, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. Okay, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? Okay, so, uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really gonna love this. Okay, so today I was in the cafeteria. And you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? right. Okay, so today, this is crazy. I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, man, you gotta give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey. If you really want to quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Yeah, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. Uh, on second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. Okay, uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, um, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Patrick Mahomes. 
I love slinging it deep for the big play and making it happen. All right. All right. Solid answer. So, when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, it doesn't matter if you're playing a game or working a job. It all starts at the top with strong leadership, so I like to inspire the people around me. Finally! That's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. <laughs> all right. Tommy, you all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Oh. Oh, hey, easy. Easy, man. I ain't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean, exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it, but my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. Fine. But I don't feel right agreeing to this. If it gets any worse, then I'm gonna have to tell Coach. Why, didn't let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Is that a word? Well, it's hard to celebrate homecoming when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our... Right, let's play. There isn't going to be another play for you tonight. What? We need you to take off your helmet and take a bench. Coach, what do you mean? You're pulling me? After everything I've given to this team? I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, take a seat. Coach, I don't know what he told you, but I'm fine, Coach. I I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You can't do this. Hey, hey, hey. Look, I need you to take it easy. We'll talk about this later in private. Sit. What'd you say, man? Well, let the trainers do their job. I know you're worried. But you got 52 other guys out there. I need you to focus. They are all counting on you. 52 guys? No sweat, coach. I can do it. Good. Because we're going to need you to ball out. That's not asking too much, of course. Oh, no. I got this. Was it the play calling? I mean, um, I've had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What could go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. <laughs> Whoa, you forgetting something? The helmet. The piece de renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah, you're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. 
He still doesn't got this. One more quarter to go in this always emotion-filled homecoming rivalry. Kevin Connors and our entire broadcast team bringing you the live stream action courtesy of EA Sports. And he's down at the 30. So I'm not sure what to make of this, but Tommy Matthews was just benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field. But here he is. You know, I got to say, it's kind of odd seeing someone other than Tommy Matthews delivering these throws. I mean, he was basically the face of this franchise, in a manner of speaking. Looking to pass on first down. He's brought down at the 39. It's a 15-yard gain. Good for a Spartan first down. Really needing to chip away at this deficit. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll throw. He's got a man. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. A 21-yard gain. And now in striking distance. Now another first and ten, and even more of a threat to score now. Here we go. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. It's caught at the five. And he's got the first down just outside the end zone. From the one-yard line, here's first and goal. Off play action. Hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. From a clipboard to the scoreboard, QB2 leads his team to pay dirt on his first drive of the game. And it's good. So they trim the lead by one more point. The score now 13 to 7. So an unexpected drive by an unknown backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. And this will be caught deep in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. So the Bearcats are lined up now. And there's Coach Summers yelling some instructions to his QB from the sideline. He'll go with the run, and he's brought down after a nice gain on the play. Well, I've got a moment. i got to give a quick shout-out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus earlier today. This kid's got a real future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a great piece on QB2 not long ago. Now, a penalty flag is down, and it might have been a hold to make that run possible. So there's the call. Offensive holding as they give up 10 yards. All right, so following the short gain, it's second and three. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. It's complete to Justice. And he's down at the 35. As a quick side note, what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America. The players will be competing for Heisman trophies, national championships, and even Super Bowl titles in the years to come. Some of them are on this field today. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again, they'll pass it. Right side of the field, it's complete. And now he's tackled with a flag on the field. Push the foul, roughing the passer, defense. 
Are you serious? So it's roughing the passer, and it'll cost them 15 yards. Halfway through the fourth quarter, it's first and 10. Carpenter takes the snap, throws to Irons, and he's got the first down. Well, what a scene here today, and I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that our next live stream will be from the state championship game later this season. Most believe the Brush Hogs are the team best positioned to raise that trophy. My opinion, pigs will fly before the Brush Hogs win it all, but what do I know? But it doesn't result in much, just one or two. From the shotgun now, inside handoff. Taken down here at about the 28-yard line. A pickup of three on the play, and that makes it third and five. Carpenter settles into the shotgun look. The Bearcats with the draw, and that play goes nowhere as he's stuffed for no gain, setting up a fourth down. Lots of tension in the attempt. You can count it. And they can start warming up the buses. This lead looks insurmountable. The advantage now, 16 to 7. It's taken at the four. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. Here come the Spartans to start the drive. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. The desperation heave. And that deep ball is incomplete. Gave it their best shot, but it won't give them the result they so desperately needed. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Looking to throw. Here's QB2. Airing it out for Patton and it's incomplete so we're looking at third down looking for a receiver let's one go deep for Patton throws into a double team and it's intercepted kick off by Hatcher, and that will do it. The Bearcats win. So as our EA Sports live stream comes to an end, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. I'm gonna be watching you. Not with just with one eye, with both of my eyes. All right, keep doing good work, and I'll be in. Hey, uh, Grant Simmons. Recruiting analysts over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that tonight, son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man. <laughs>